Hi guys, so today we're having a look at the She Glam Freck Please Freckle Tint. Fortunately this comes in like the most boring looking beige packaging ever. So sorry for the thumbnail, it's probably the least exciting looking thing you've seen all day. Um, but anyway, you get 7 milliliters of this. It costs 3 99 in the UK and there are five shades. So there is one called Tan, one called Fawn, one called Dark Chocolate, one called Blue by You, and Purple Haze. Purple Haze is currently on sale. Oh well, it's three nineteen just now for the fun colours and three ninety nine for the sensible ones. But it'll be gone by the time this video is out. Oh well. Okay, so anyway. The instructions on this are a little bit odd, but I go over them in the application section, so we won't go into that just now. What I will go into is I believe this is a bit of a copy of Lime Crime. She and I are known for copying, so what do you do? Um, so Lime Crime have a freckle pen. Um, this is more of like a liquid eyeliner type of a applicator. But Lime Crime have also brought out a kind of like fun colour. So they have a magenta purple shade that they just call magenta. I of course bought Purple Haze to go with my hair and do some crazy freckles. So we've got an application section and we'll do a wear test and we'll see how these go. Right, so let's have a look. In line with my resolution, I have read the instructions. But I kind of want to ignore them. Um, so the instructions are... Dot copy paste. Freck please. Create a small cluster of dots on your cheeks and or nose. Copy by gently pressing with fingertips and paste across your skin for a full on freckled effect. So I think what they're suggesting there is that you put some on, dab it so it goes in your finger and then use it like a stamp. Freckles aren't usually that kind of symmetrical pattern wise. We'll give it a shot but I think in general I'm going to try and freehand this. So... Let's zoom in, zoom in, zoom in, zoom in. Um, I don't have any freckles on my face other than I've got one big one here that's covered and the awkward one that sits on my lip line that drives me up the wall if you've been on this channel when I've been doing a lip set review. Um, so it's just a little um, liquid liner type brush. So... Okay, so that didn't really work um, too great. It does kind of make them more subtle dabbing though, so the dabbing part I'm done with, it's just the kind of copying the shapes. I'm not exactly... What it does do though is it gets a bit fainter when you're stamping them, which is going to give you a bit of a variety in tone, which is probably more natural. Um, which I am good with. Fine with that. Um, yeah, these are actually looking, I don't want to say surprisingly natural because they're purple. Um, but in terms of like the density of the colour and things, I quite, I quite like it. Um, I'm not sure how it's going to look once it's powdered down. Um, you know, we'll see. I mean, it should look more natural once it's powdered down, but it's whether it'll still be visible or too natural. Uh, I feel like I've done way more on this cheek than this cheek. Um, I will say, I live in the UK. If I did have cheek freckles, I am a driver. I probably would have more on this side because that's my window side. Um, but we're going to even it out because, you know, <laughs> that's going to look better. <laughs> Who cares about realism? I want it to look cute. We do a couple on my nose. I really don't think any on my nose are going to last that well because I have oily, oily skin. So, you know. <laughs> As demonstrated by my foundation lifting when I tried to do that. Okay, um, so I've left my setting powder somewhere. I found my powder, it was here after all, I was just doing that thing of not seeing what was immediately in front of me. Did you guys ever do that? Anyway, so it is RCMA no colour powder, so in theory 
we should still see these afterwards but we'll see <laughs> or will we see it depends um <laughs> sorry bad bad joking so i brought my foundation brush over in case i had to do any blending um And it was under my camera, that was great. So I'm going to try and even out my nose a little bit. It is going to cover the ones on my nose, but it was just lifting. And I don't really, I don't really want to have a red nose. Because I have quite a bit of redness in the skin of my nose. I get a lot of breakouts there. And it's just not a look I want to go with. I already powdered that side. Yeah, so these are still visible, that's pretty cool. Um, I definitely wanted to do these before powder because it's a liquid product. Um, partly to set it down, partly so it doesn't disrupt my powder. And yes, I'm powdering down my neck because I extend my skincare and my foundation a little bit down my neck. Do, do, do. Alrighty. So I'm going to go and do my contour and maybe a little bit of blusher, not too much, just to kind of let these stand out. It is, oops, it's 10 o'clock just now, so we'll see how this holds up. Right, I am back. It is 10 to 11. I think it was just after 10 we'd done this this morning, so we're past the 12 hour mark. I don't feel like these have faded at all. They are quite subtle anyway, um, because I did tap them out and also put the setting powder on top. Nobody made any comments. Um, I was out at the park with Flynn, and I was up at my parents' house, nobody said anything about you've got purple freckles. I even asked my mum and you know, I literally said I'd done it and she's like, oh, I hadn't seen it. Um, but I think they're cute. I think I need to work on the application because I think I've gone a little bit kind of linear maybe space out some more dispersed ones um to kind of make it look more more natural pink purple freckles um but yeah i think these are really fun um i would maybe go a little bit heavier next time and yeah just widen the area that I was applying them on but like space them out a bit more to get a more kind of natural distribution of my unnaturally colored freckles but overall, yeah, I think this is really fun. Um, part of me is thinking, oh, I wish they would do other colours, but it's like, green would probably be a bit questionable looking. It might look like you've got a really infected spot. So purple and blue, probably the safer colours. I have to say, I'm now starting to wonder what metallic freckles would be like. Would it look like a weird highlight? I don't know. Maybe I'll play with it somewhere. Um, but overall, yeah, I think this is a really nice product. It's lasted really well. It was really easy to apply. I feel like it's going to last forever. Even if I'd done this every day, it would last me ages. And it's super affordable. So if you've been humming and hawing about whether to try the whole freckle thing, or if you hadn't seen that you could do it in fun colours, definitely go and check these out. They're so much fun. I'm happy. Firmly in the goodbye category. Brilliant. So if you've got any questions, Pop them down below. I'll have some links in the description bar, cashback website that works with Shein, and I'll try and get a link for the product on Shein, although sometimes their links end up a million times too long. Um, but everything will be down there anyway. So I will see you guys in the next one, and I hope you're all doing good. Bye.